there has been an enhancement to the particle layers. Now, as you can see here on the canvas, we have a particle folder, and inside it we just have a simple dot. If we hit play, you'll see the particle, and this is pretty standard. It's a standard particle. If we select that particle layer still and go up here to the particle options, you can then adjust certain things such as the source width and the height and this will kind of give you some leeway in terms of where the particles are coming from or at least how they appear when they shoot out from that origin point and that's always been the norm. Well now in version 10 we have even more options. So first let's enable this layer it's a layer with six vector ovals on it. Let's put that layer into the particle layer on the bottom. Make sure it's on the bottom. Now when we go to this particle layer you're going to see this going on and that's basically how it's always been. But now with that particle layer still selected go up to particle options and choose use base layer as source. Now you'll see that those six ovals are now acting as the source for the particles. If you hit play, you can see this playing out. And that really gives you a lot to work with here. And that's a really powerful thing because now you can really control what the origin point looks like for your particle layers. So we have another example here. Let's hide that particle layer and bring in this one. Again, it's simple just a small particle going on like this and we have another complex shape here so we will open up the particle layer and bring this complex shape on the bottom of the list select the particle layer and we can hit play and we can see what's going on here it's again what you would expect now go up to particle options and choose use base layer as source now as you can see the particles are just going with the outlines and not those holes in the middle. So again, that gives you a lot of control over what you can do with your particles. And you could use simple shapes such as a star, rectangle, oval, or you can do more complex things like we're showing here. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching guys and we will see you next time.